Hello everybody, it's me again. So we're back on the uh, Jetson AGX Orn and we're going to run the uh, Tau Workflow Jupyter Notebook. So we're going to train and adapt and optimize, train in the cloud using NVIDIA Tau and deploy on the Jetson uh, AGX Orin, or you can deploy it on, on anything in NX or in Nano. And this is uh, pretty cool. This is going to show how quickly, uh, or not how quickly, but how smooth the pipeline now is going from training custom models to deploying on uh, your devices. So first of all, you're going to need, a, since we're going to do it in the cloud, you're going to need to have the there, you go. I'll put a link to these instructions, and you have to set up your uh, uh, toolkit in the cloud. So I will put a link to this uh, running a Tau toolkit in the cloud, and we're going to run the running Tau toolkit on Azure. So that's how we're going to do ours. But you know, you'll have to set yours up to this, and then you'll be able to run the ta the Tau toolkit on the cloud. So I've already got mine all set up, and I've already uh, <clears throat> got mine loaded. So when you start the Jupyter Notebook for the uh, the Jupyter Notebook that's on the, the VMware cloud, <clears throat> you'll come to this, excuse me, you go to Workspace, PeopleNet Helmet, and you go to Process Train Helmet. And this is the Jupyter Notebook we're going to run. So uh, it, I've ran this before, so um, there's there's a lot of stuff that's already in there. So uh, process and run the experiment on the helmet data set. This notebook contains all the code needed to train. Use PeopleNet to inference a data set, then train with added classes. Uh, this notebook requires the Tau Launcher, Docker, NGC to be set up, and uh, and it shows you like uh, all you need to do here. So let's just get started. So this is the Jupyter Notebook that's running on the cloud. And what's nice about this is um, this should be pretty fast. Like if you don't have a, like me, I've got a, a GT, an RTX 2080 Ti, and it runs pretty good on my machine. But if you don't, you can run it on the cloud here, and it's, uh, it's pretty fast. So first of all, we do this, convert the database into kitty format. That's what we're going to be doing. We run this. And then here we're going to set up our local file paths. And then we're going to unzip our data set. Like I say, all this is on the, the cloud. It's not on the local machine. And then we're going to set up our output paths for the labels and the images. And then we're going to install the NGC CLI on the local machine, download and install. And by they mean the local machine, the, uh, the VM version on the web. See, this runs pretty quickly on the, I'd like to know what their, what, what GPU type they're using on this. Now we're going to map the local directories to the Tau launcher. Then we're going to inference the images with PeopleNet and combine the labels. So we're going to combine the two labels, the helmet and the people. We're going to combine those two labels. Because what we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, people with helmets and without helmets. So we got to know what a people is. we got to know what a head is. And then we got to know what a helmet is. So we combined all those and they say, hey, there's a head with a helmet. There's a head with not a helmet. So that's kind of what we do. And what I might do here, some of this takes a little while. So what I might do is I might pause it uh, while it does its thing. So we've combined our uh, labels here. And then uh, I think this does the same thing. Then we'll generate the TF records. Set up our paths. Oh, 
we'll pause this and then we'll move on down to uh, set up our training paths our out and ins where our where it knows to look for the spec the specs text and where to put the output at and the final model TLT and then now we're gonna in, we're gonna train it right here so this is gonna take a while so I'll pause it while we do this And then I'll tell you how long it takes. So once it gets done. All right, we're done. Now that took about 15 minutes, so it's not bad. I think what it did is I ran this before, so it picked up one of the, it picked up where I left off. So generally this takes about like an hour and a half. So all right, so let's run this some inference let's pause it let's go ahead and graph the results interesting And then we're going to convert it to the ETLT. It's going to go in the weights final model TLT, weights final model ETLT, the DS config, and this is where it's going to put it at. We'll pause it while it does that. So it produced the TLT and ETLT files. And where they are, or they're at, if you go to Workspace, Experiments, uh, Train Out, Weights, and here they are. Here's the final model, ETLT, the TLT, the labels, the infer uh, con con config. So all we need is we need this. Let me make sure that's all we need. Yes, so all we need is the the ETLT file. So that's here. So we check it. Boom. And then we download it. And it's downloading to my local machine. All right, and then so we don't need we're pretty much done with this So let's minimize this oh, What's this cancel and then what we need to do is now we need to put it in uh, where this deep stream app uh, knows to find it So we go to Downloads and uh, see I did that twice so we copy this copy train adapt optimize model and we lay it in here paste so this is it just gonna take these two and it's gonna build the engine and then run it so uh, now we're back to the local Jupyter netbook so we can just run this right here and it's going to run the DeepStream app Source One PeopleNet. So it's going to run this. And uh, you've seen this before, and it's going to run this. There's already got a video ready to go. And it's going to look for this engine, and if it can't find it, it'll build it. And uh, it's going to look for right here the config infer primary people in that text that'll to tell it where to find the the items it needs to build the engine and that's right here so it says it's going to go look in the file for the final model.et etlt labels text so that's where it's going to go looking
final model. So we just do this, enter, and it starts running. Now it may take a bit to build the engine. It's got to build the engine. So we may pause it while it's doing this. So you can see that we've started running it. It's built the engine that it's running on. It's picking up people, faces, a face. There's a face with a helmet. You're going to wear a helmet. Say he's got a helmet with a helmet. Person, face. Let's see how it's running. It's running 60 frames a second. So that's pretty good. I don't need it to run that fast, but as you can see, it's running pretty well. So that's it. So that how that shows you how quickly we basically uh, trained our model and we got it running on the AGX Orin uh, module. So pretty nice. It's a nice quick pipeline. You should be able to get your uh, custom trained models running up very quickly. All right. Thank you.